I don't think a lifetime would be enough to paddle to all the good places to paddle to in northern Saskatchewan. I fell in love with the area and I started telling people about it. Pretty soon other people wanted to come with me and I kept coming back and coming back. The Churchill River in Saskatchewan, its primary reason for being so good for paddling is that the water is extremely warm and the rapids, although they're, they're really high flow and pumping waves, there aren't that many rocks, they're quite deep and they flow in general into big lakes and big bays down below. Super safe for, for all skill levels to really get out there and have fun. This area just has so much to offer. Everything from beautiful, placid, crystal clear lakes to roaring whitewater to big waterfalls, the breathtaking scenery. And it's largely unknown, which makes it even more special. The Churchill River, or kind of all of northern Saskatchewan, is fairly unmanaged. We don't really have a lot of provincial parks that designate zones or camping sites or services. And so the beauty of Saskatchewan is, is that you're free to go and explore the wilderness and have your own experience with some level of responsibility. Kind of a long tradition to that. People have come up quite a number of years asking what canoe routes need cleaning, what portages need fixing, what campsites need cleaning, and they plan their canoe trip around that. We decided last year that we really needed to take it to another level. Online, we've suggested a whole bunch of campsites that need work or portages that need work. And one by one, different people, like different groups of volunteer, we're gonna go over there and we'll clean up that campsite or we're gonna go over there and we'll fix that portage. I mean, that's been an incredible thing in terms of keeping the area nice for people to paddle in. But it shows that people really, really care about looking after an area. Although people have been traveling on the land for hundreds or thousands of years, it can feel like a first experience in that wilderness. Over the years, Churchill River Canoe has had huge impacts on Saskatchewan and, and paddling and the paddling community. Guides as far back as 20 years ago started taking notes and, and developing guidebooks on the area and really uh, opening up new territory for people. We've got tons and tons of information accumulated over the last 50, 60 years. We make our own maps of pretty much all the canoeing areas in northern Saskatchewan. We see canoeing as an awesome activity still to do during the pandemic. Canoe tripping removes us from, you know, busyness of society and puts us in the wilderness just as a small group. Saskatchewan is the land of swift flowing rivers, so if you can't paddle on those swift flowing rivers, you can't see uh, very much of the province.